Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Do you hate tearing that awful thing where the, there's like lines across the screen? But do you hate VSync because every time your performance dips below the refresh rate of the monitor, it just tanks your FPS? We have the solution for you. It's called Adaptive VSync and it is available on NVIDIA GeForce GTX 600 series cards, especially the Galaxy 660 Ti that we are featuring today. <laughs> I want to open up with an explanation of what tearing is for those of you who don't know. Tearing occurs when the FPS, the frame rate that your graphics card is capable of driving, exceeds the refresh rate of your display device. So the refresh rate can be 60 hertz or 120 hertz or you know 75 or 85 hertz on older CRT displays. And that is how many cycles per second that display can display. The FPS or the frame rate is how many frames, how many cycles the video card is actually driving to the display. So as long as the video card is driving fewer refreshes to the monitor than it can display, then the monitor will display every frame completely. And you will see a complete image, and then a complete image, and then a complete image. However, once the frame rate exceeds the refresh rate of the monitor, what happens is the monitor might get like a third of one image and then two thirds of another one and it won't quite know what to do. So it, it, it might be offset where as you're turning, you know, it's drawing this image and this image and then they're, they're both on the screen and you get like a disconnect. I'll show you an example on the screen behind me. So you can see as I pan by these windows, you see these little vertical lines that interrupt the otherwise smooth looking windows. That is tearing. So the ironic thing is in the past, the higher end the graphics card you buy, the worse this problem gets because your frame rate will almost always be above the refresh rate of your display. Now let's demo with no VSync, no adaptive VSync, no nothing. That means that anytime our frame rate goes above 60 FPS, this is an extreme example, we will see tearing these horizontal lines that look just awful. Now it might seem like a minor thing, but what it does is it decreases the immersiveness. So you can see it again on these bars where these lines are constantly being broken up. It reminds you constantly that you are staring at a computer generated image that in this case is not being, not being rendered correctly, not being rendered truly, not being enjoyed the way the game is meant to be enjoyed. So VSync solves the problem somewhat because it'll lock the frame rate at less than the refresh rate of your display, but it has limitations because it can adversely affect performance. So we're going to show you in a moment what adaptive VSync will do for your overall gaming experience. I just want to show you guys really quickly though, when the frame rate's below 60 FPS, I'll be able to look around to my heart's content and I will not see, see, you can see these vertical lines right here, which would tear if I was above 60 FPS. They're not doing it now. Now that we have adaptive vSync enabled, you can see that we've lost all of the tearing artifacts in the electrical sparks that are coming out of those wires. But what, and you, we are locked at 60 FPS, just like if we enabled vSync. However, we're going to run down to a firefight here. We're running Battlefield 3 on Ultra with a GeForce GTX 660 Ti from Galaxy at 1080p. And we're just going to start, you know, popping some guys here. Bam. All of a sudden, we're in a firefight, things are getting a little bit more intense, and instead of dropping down to 30 FPS, which would be very noticeable and much more difficult to play with, especially when things get, you know, crazy and everyone's running around all over the place and you don't know where to aim and who to fire at, and maybe that's just my problem. Maybe you guys know where to aim and who to fire at, but, uh, you know, this isn't like NCIX how to game properly tips. The point is just that it actually works. It does a fantastic job of picking up on when you need the VSync and turning it on and when you don't and turning it off right away. And it's not something that's a noticeable hitch in between these modes being on and off. It is extremely smooth and transparent to the gamer. That's the most important thing about this. We've seen lots of different technologies over the years that claim to enhance the gaming experience by, you know, changing these modes or boosting it with this or doing whatever it's doing. But you, it was always noticeable or there was like an ugly configuration process. This just 
works and I love it. So thank you for checking out this episode of NCIX Tech Tips on Adaptive V-Sync from NVIDIA featuring Galaxy's lineup of GTX 600 series cards, especially the all new 660 Ti. And don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips.